Dr. Clev80 Gaming. Welcome back. Today we're talking about Hero Wars Alliance, particularly the Talismans. Now, as you look on the screen, you can tell that um, I am about 18 hours uh, away from the beginning of this event. Why? Because I, I want to try to figure some things out about it to give some, figure out how I'm going to play it so I can t at least tell you and give you some ideas of how I'm going to play it and then you can, you're free to to do your own um what this event carries it carries six different uh, tasks you get some for logging in and as you, as you can see i've already collected to the two for logging in and what you get are talismans the first one is going to be aurora the second one's going to be maya and then you're going to get galahad you'll get nebula you'll get astaroth and then you'll get faceless now I would recommend as you level, you can do as you would like, but I would recommend that you level up the talismans based upon the heroes you currently use. So it might be, it might be that you just have, a, you know, you, you have an Aurora laying around and you're not using her. Um, but you don't have any of the other ones leveled up. Well, you can practice with her and figure some things out. You need what you need, what you need to with that. I'm gonna primarily focus on Galahad because Galahad is on uh, a main team of mine, a, a, a an arena grand arena team, and Faceless. And because Faceless is on a grand arena team, I use him on um, an undead team, but I also use him on a Hydra team. And so I would recommend just finding one that you could get. Oh, it's actually complete. I can get this today. Um, the Galahad. I'm going to pick it up. And I'll show you about Galahad. Here we go. Uh, and so basically what we have is we're going to have strength. And as we upgrade uh, this, this talisman, we're going to start getting levels. Um, so when you get to level 50, that will have all the three crit hit stances. And that's the, the deal. Is these talismans are gonna give specific heroes um, boost on main stat and boost on a secondary stat. And the secondary stat for Galahad is crit hit, which I'm excited for. Um, he he is a I really like Galahad. I know a lot of people don't like him. I enjoy him. I, I use him on a main team. I use him to take out all the uh, to finish the campaign. I, I used him to take out the tower. I use him in Arena a lot, and so I really like Galahad. And so I'm going to spend some time doing that, uh, messing with him. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and start leveling up now, um, start unlocking the things. And once we get to 10, oh, I thought Galahad changed to Aurora. I was confused. So, so what happens is, is it go ahead and it gives us a stat boost. The stat boost is 220 on crit hit, and as you you can re-roll and it will give you a higher, and you re-roll to get higher stats if you want to. So I can hit re-roll. Use some meta cubes. We'll re-roll the stats. Okay, so it went up to 300. Um, should roll again, see what happens. Ah, oh, see, it went down. and So we need to do something different. But every time I re-roll, I get a... I'm getting a lower one. Oh, this ain't no good. Let's see if I can get that 300 again. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm saving that. So I wasted a bunch of these little meta cubes. Um, so you can see that it is. Uh, it's going to be interesting trying to get him leveled all the way up. Um, but then again, we can just go ahead and start pumping him. See if we can go and get that level two, um, level twenty. We might get there. I don't know. be real interesting uh, to fight with him later let's roll and see what happens 
No, that's not going to work. Um, no. I just don't see it rolling the way it needs to roll. These, I mean, is this normal? I mean, we're looking at 800 on the left and 572 on the right. I, I just don't see how that would even be comparable. Mm. Well, we're looking at 1,716. I, I don't know. And if they both were 2000s, I, 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 that would be something. Well, I don't see it. Anyway, I'm going to exit. Um, use those meta cubes. Anyway, we'll, we'll probably wanna play around with that. We'll figure that out. All right, so let's go back up here. So what happens is, again, as you log in, you can get the different ones. Um, as you level up a talisman, you get these little cubes. And so that's going to collect those bad boys here. And it says you collect it every day. Okay, so which means it's going to re uh, renew every morning. Same thing with re-rolling. Um, you're going to be able to renew that every morning. This one you get for PvP battles. And so, okay, so I have the Galahad. I, now I can get these um, these medic mystery crystals that you use to upgrade the Talisman. Um, with my Galahad and Arena and the Grand Arena, uh, you fight. And this is an everyday event. Expeditions also every day. And, and so there's some things you're going to get just for doing things every day. And so it's going to pro provide those stat bonuses uh, for you. Uh, now, every talisman carries a different stat bonus. I think it's already listed in here in your um, your news feed. It will tell you which stat bonuses and what is the, the highest levels. Um, I think no, it's not that one. I think it's this one. It is. So here are the maximums. So Aurora, you're going to end up getting 2,000 strength, 6,000 dodge if you completely level it up. Gala has 2,000 strength, 6,000 crit chance. Astroth is 2,000 strength, 12,000 magic defense. Maya has 2,000 intelligence, 18,000 magic attack. Nebula, 2,000 agility, 18,000 physical attack. Face is 2,000 intelligence. Um, that is 165,000 health. All right, so, you know, how are, how is some of this going to play out? I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, what I mean by that is on my Hydra teams, you know, I'm running that um, Mushy Shroom, uh, Z-Shaw, Faceless, uh, Martha, and Aiden team. And so as you add health, I don't know how, what that will do to faceless in that in that team. I I don't know how that will work, and what we'll to find out I guess a little bit later. Uh, but that's what I know about the talisman. Of course, you can go here. Um, that's the outland chest. Um, you can pick some things up here. They're going to have little um, sales. I imagine tomorrow will be Galahad. Um, and the keeper dolls are going to have resources in them. I, there's an eye here. It will tell us. And this is what's in the keeper dolls here. Um, but what do you, you know, what, how do you think this is going to impact the game? I, it, it, it adds another challenge. It keeps everything fresh, uh, everything new. Um, I don't know how it will completely impact my playing. That's that's I don't know. That's why it took me uh, a couple of days to, to get this figured out. Um, what will it actually do for me? I'm, I'm not really for sure, except for it's going to make Galahad a little bit better because you have the crit hit. But he also has vampirism already. And so that will give him just a little little extra um, and send it for, for more people to play him. Um, but what are your thoughts about it? Uh, me, I'm not dropping anything on the game um, for for Talisman. So I'm, I'm not worried about that. Um, you, you might want to. Uh, and if you want to, that's fine. 
I don't necessarily know that you have to. And I don't think you have to get all of them leveled all at one time because I don't know how effective that will be um, unless they're on your teams or a series of teams like Hydra teams or Grand Arena teams. Um, that would be something really you would, you'd have to think about. And I'm curious to know, how are you going to play this event? What are you going to focus on? Why are you going to focus on it? Uh, is this just a waste of time or does this add some kind of enjoyment to the game for you? Leave a like if you like. Start a conversation. Drop some stuff in the comments. I, I'm really curious about what you guys think and, and how you guys are going to do this. Uh, and until next time, we'll catch you in the arena.